Hello, members of NHS Environmental Club. This is Davis Thomas, uh, Activities Coordinator for 2009-2010. All right, so I'm going to tell you how to make water bottles that are custom engraved. All right, so as you see here, we have some files. These are PSDs, so that means you have to have Photoshop to use it, and then once you get a PSD, you have to turn it into a, an Adobe Illustrator file, which is not that hard, so don't be afraid if you don't know how to use Illustrator. Alright, so throughout the year, we had two different orders. In the first order, we sold 48, and the second order, we sold 110. So that's about 158 orders for about 430 thirty dollars profit all right so as you can see a lot of people chose the wolf on the earth logo or some kind of variety of it and so chances are people are gonna want that logo all right so to do that you're just gonna want to open this up in Photoshop all right and you can just work off of other people's designs because if you want to make your own design then it gets tricky and you have to memorize stuff so always open up someone else's design and if you don't want anything you can just go and delete it and now you have perfect slate but... alright so we have this and obviously they want a different name so go and write their name hold on shift key and just write that down if they want a different quote or anything, let's go in and write a quote. And they may not want this at all, or they may want to change it, so let's go in and write something down. Alright, and so now, because you want to show them what it looks like before you send it in, you want to go to Save for Web and Devices. And then go to 50% because that's too big. Make sure it's in GIF because black and white and simple designs work best with GIFs. So you want to save that. And then that's good. If you want to save the PSD, let's go save as. And if you want, you can follow the same formatting where it's number, name, and then color. I only did it for colors different than blue because the majority of people got blue but if you want to you can do it or not alright so that's one of the basic ones you can use that same f format or approach like here different name different quote different quote but they may not want one of those so we have like there's 107 different designs I made and so let's just say this so you're going to open that up in Photoshop and it's all in black and white with the white removed which makes it easier let's go in and move this logo and then here let's see this you want to make it 450 pixels and then after you type that in you want to constrain it to the height so it doesn't get all distorted and then you want to center that so we good. All right. But let's say they want a different logo. Let's say they want a logo they made themselves or one they found on the computer. So right now we we'll use this picture of Obama, and we'll just go and create. Okay. So you want to have it in black and white because that's the only thing you can actually can etch in color or anything. So, I'm going to want to remove this guy because that's boring and it can conflict with the white here. So, now that you have this, you want to use threshold and posterize are very similar, but threshold includes more. Alright, so let's see what we got. So, we have, we have Obama good, we have capital bad, but we have capital good and Obama bad. So, we're going to want to create two different 
designs here. All right, so this one will be for the Obama. So threshold and go right there. Then you want to remove the Obama here. That's all. Another one can get that. All right. So go through here again. Do it. All right. Are good. Hi. All right. So now that you have that, it's good. But you may notice that. Well, it'll actually be made with like a white background. And so you see this gets distorted a little bit. So you're going to want to make it so that it has a stroke on it. But as you can see, we don't really need a stroke right here. And if you try to erase it, then you may get issues. So there's an easier way to do that. Now that you've duplicated it, you want to create a stroke here. So two pixels in the center. You want to go and control click here. And then on this layer, you make sure you want to delete that. And then as you can see, there's some like, white and black thing here, so you can just go and erase that. And then you're good. All right, so if threshold wasn't working out too well for you, there's other ways you can do it. All right. So the next one you want to make sure this is black, and this is white, which can be done with the D select, or just pressing the D button. Okay, so you want to go to Filter Gallery, you want to go to Sketch and Stamp, bring that down. And so we got like this. It's kind of a weird design, but you can fix it up. So you can go Poster Edges, make Edge, you can make that posterize as much as necessary, it doesn't really matter. So okay, go to filter, go to filter gallery, then go to stamp, and it looks a little better, but not really, but well so if threshold doesn't work you always have this method, but I think threshold works just about ninety percent of the time. Okay. Alright, so now that you have a design, 